Well, new tonight, a move to stop prescription drug hoarding. The state now limiting the amount of two specific drugs some believe could be helpful in battling COVID-19. This after a similar substance killed a man and left his wife in the hospital. Let's get right out to 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels outside the Grant Sawyer building in downtown Las Vegas. Joe. Yeah, Trisha, the governor says this new directive will try and help make sure there is enough medicine to go around for everyone who needs it. Chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine are two drugs that have been used to treat malaria, but they have also been proven helpful with treating some autoimmune disorders. So I have an autoimmune disorder called scleroderma. Allison Baptiste spoke with 13 investigators from her home. She takes hydroxychloroquine, which also goes by the name brand Plaquenil, to combat her condition, which can be extremely painful without medication. And if I don't take it, then I get really, really tired. My joints hurt really, really bad, like to the point where it's hard for me to even grasp a pencil. Um, and it helps slow the progression of scleroderma. The medicine is now becoming harder to get after doctors overseas have seen some promising results in COVID-19 patients. They found in China that there was some efficacy or success using it in the coronavirus patients or patients suffering from severe coronavirus. When that news broke, a lot of doctors wanted to try it and there were the cases of success with that medication. Even the president mentioned the medicine as the U.S. is starting to stockpile the prescription-only drug. At my direction, the federal government is working to help obtain large quantities of chloroquine. We think it might work on this based on evidence, based on very strong evidence. But the drugs, experts say, come with some potentially serious complications and side effects. It could affect the heart. It could cause um, you know, renal dysfunction, liver dysfunction. Uh, retinopathy, issues with the back of the eye in your sight. Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak has now made an emergency directive limiting prescriptions for the drugs to 30 day supplies and doctors must justify why they're prescribing it for a patient. While the two drugs serve necessary medical purposes, there is no conclusive evidence at this time among COVID-19 experts or Nevada's own medical health advisory team that the drugs provide treatment for COVID-19 patients. This comes as an Arizona couple identified by friends to our sister station as Gary and Wanda are making national headlines. Authorities believe they took chloroquine phosphate, a variation of the prescription drug, in order to guard against COVID-19. Chloroquine phosphate is found in aquarium cleaner to kill algae. Gary suffered cardiac arrest and died. Wanda is in critical condition in a Phoenix area hospital. And experts are also telling us that people have been requesting z packs Those are oftentimes used for uh, infections as well as other illnesses. So far, that medicine has not been restricted, but experts tell us they would not be surprised if that changes in the coming days. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. All right.